everybody, this is Michael Yerwaski with the DePezo Group. We're here taking a quick two-minute drill style look at the August home sales statistics here at the Jersey Shore. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to compare average sales price for January through August of 2017 versus average sales price for January through August of this year. So we're going to start in Sea Isle and work our way south down the parkway. Uh, and Sea Isle single-family homes saw a decrease of 12%, and condo townhomes saw an increase of 3%. In Avalon, single-family homes increased their 18%, and condo townhomes increased 7%. In Stone Harbor, single-family homes increased 7%, and uh, condo townhomes uh, saw a slight decrease at 1.5%. In North Wildwood, where I grew up, uh, Single-family homes there increased 5% and condo townhomes saw a decrease of 20%. In Wildwood, uh, single-family homes increased 24% and condo townhomes increased 5%. In Wildwood Crest, uh, single-family homes there decreased 13% and condo townhomes saw a big increase at 30%. So generally, when we're seeing a decrease in uh, prices here at the shore, it's due to, almost always due to, um, new inventory coming on the market, new sellers uh, looking to take advantage of the hot market right now, which is a good thing, absolutely a good thing. Uh, Cape May, single family, uh, home prices stayed about even, and condo townhomes, uh, they increased 22%. So right now it's, it's kind of a perfect storm, whether you're looking to buy or sell. If you're looking to sell, home prices are going up, but interest rates are still low. So that creates a sort of incentive um, for buyers who want to get in, want to lock in that low rate, want to get in while prices are still low before they go up anymore. If you're looking to buy, same thing but in reverse, right? So interest rates, they're still low. They're still near historic lows, but hey, they rose on Wednesday. They're expected to rise again in December. And economists forecast interest rates to rise through 2019 into 2020, right? So locking in a today's rate versus the 2019 rate where it's expected to be is going to save you tens of thousands of dollars over the life of the loan. So if you're thinking, hey, maybe I'll just wait six months, maybe I'll wait a year, it's not the way to go. You're going to save a ton of money um, and, and start building equity uh, for, your, for your future with your new Jersey Shore vacation home. So if you're looking to sell, jump on our website, depezogroup.com. We've got a feature there. Fill in a couple pieces of information about your property, completely free, no obligation. We'll tell you what your property is worth, done by local experts. That's what you want. You want local experts who know the market, who can tell you what your property is worth. If you're looking to buy, same thing, depezogroup.com. We've got the best website in the industry. We will get you the properties um, that you want to see uh, in the towns that you want with the features that you want, at the price that you want, with the bedrooms, bathrooms that you want, as they become available, right when they become available. Good properties, uh, they move quickly here. All properties really do, as you can see from the, the statistics that we went over. So you really, if you're looking to buy, you really need to see what's available, when it's available, and especially with interest rates going up. So again, dupezogroup.com. So yeah, Michael Yawaski uh, with the DePezo Group. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to, to look at our video. Uh, we'll be back next month uh, to go over the September month uh, numbers. Uh, they will come out in about mid-October, so check back in a couple weeks. Uh, I appreciate your time. Uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.